Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs. There's a lot of atomic stuff going on up right now. What room? Uh, lunch room. Okay. Okay. So All right. Go. Thanks. I'm gonna fall over. I'm okay. <laughs> You will, right? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. This, this, and this prototype, by the way, is about twice as good looking as the one I saw. Yeah, the, the other already. I mean, you guys just constructed them, right? Yeah. Not too yeah, long ago. Uh, yeah, they just, ago. yeah, redid them. Redid the normal the style. One was, was only experimental. Right. It wasn't really designed to be uh, towed around and events. Exactly. So this is the one that's going to take a beating and uh, we can do a strange did you, did you take the same ring and set off that though, or did you make new ones? No, this is all new. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. Yeah, it was, it was bigger, the one online. It was a little bit larger, wasn't it? Actually, the same size. Oh, is it the same yeah, size? Yeah, I, th I think so. Everything just looks bigger online. Right? Except okay. for Jason. No, Depends on your... We'll stop right well, there. Well, maybe he does, I guess. He does look bigger. He's short in life. That's how big your big screen is, right? Oh, Ed Lee Scallion would be proud, wouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> so right off the bat, you see some interesting stuff. You know, like the roller stand track. The controllers automatically separate. So these forces are the and the forces are working together. So you have freedom of movement, just like a generator should have. Rotor reaction. And the field orientation is not correct for a generator. The magnetic field along the axis. Freedom of movement, 90 degrees. You know about electromagnetics. 90 degrees from both is the electric field means that the plane is radiating this way. Right angle. Therefore, it is a valid motor generator concept. Have, have you um, taken a ring set like this and applied the second ring set on it just to see the reaction between the two ring sets with the rollers? I mean, have you actually constructed a bigger ring? No, I don't know. Like no, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's focused on the first stage. Yeah. And that's all we need to prove the concept. Right. And that's what our company is all about, is to prove the concept. I was just curious, because I know you've done a lot. I know I've seen a lot. Yeah. But I didn't know if you've actually just applied that outer ring with multiple rollers just to see the reaction of the two we're rings. We're not going to do that unless we're actually prototyping. Yeah. Because once you finalize the first stage, yep. the principles it's apply exactly to the second the same. and third. This is an independent generator onto itself. Right. It's also the second and third. It's just that they work in series. The exactly. output of the first, fuse of the second, and so on. Until you end up with a 15 kilowatt generator, which is the smallest design that you can make. So, so this is just the motor, though? It, you know, it really is a motor. But inherent in its design is also the energy conversion process, or the, the generator aspect of it. And it happens not in the traditional sense of a wire across the uh, field. It is an energy conversion process taking place between material layers, where electrons are paired and directed or made coherent. The problem with the uh, our environment right now is we're living in chaos. Electrons are going everywhere. And we feel it as temperature. What the SEG does here, it creates the optimal conditions and resonance to make it radiate out. Okay. Once you do that, you got electrical currents. In other words, this current's everywhere right now, even in your body. Lucky for you, it's in a random state. Otherwise, you'd get zapped beyond belief. So they're equalizing out. What you're doing here is you're focusing these so, focusing. polarizing and we're actually making so, usable currents. So what the SEG is doing is creating these a conditions where the electrons are not just going everywhere, but the same, making them go radially out. And that makes for electrical currents because electrons are free. Can we? 
sorry, I'm going to film this real quick. Can we demo this real quick too? Okay. Well, then I'll let you. Ask this looks like a lot like the Tesla and yeah. generator, you know, the home of Polar. Next step was to Ooh. try to explain why is John claiming that the SG can mm. really last forever a lifetime. So I mean, you can say it doesn't make any noise, and, then, and there's no uh, parts, mechanical parts touching. Well, you see, it does over here. <laughs> uh, so I had to isolate and prove that effect. And eventually I started to realize that, hey, you know, that it is possible that the magnetic field and these rollers are interacting with the surface of the conductive band, and that would be eddy currents. It could make for a magnetic bearing. But I had to isolate and demonstrate it. So what we have here is the same conductive band. We're going to spin it and leave the roller fixed. We still have relative motion, but you can isolate the effect. That's what this, so that's what this demo is all about. Let's do that. This has a magnetic field on it. So is, is there a permanent magnet in here as well? There's, a, there's only a magnetic field in, in the roller itself. So it's just the copper and copper creating an induction. So this is just a copper band. This is a roller with a magnetic field. And you see that indeed, these rollers can go around orbit without touching the surface. Now, on this side, oh, thank you. there's another effect. Now we have a magnetic field here. You feel the attraction, but at a certain point you feel repulsion as well. So this thing just put it in establishing the orbit. So that's how much we do the SCG controllers will orbit around. We won't get too close or too far. We'll just kind of again. And you go ahead and feel it for yourself. You don't take my word, but you feel attraction, attraction. So this one has magnets, that one's just copper. Right, okay. So as you go ahead and hold on to it, push it near the surface, you feel that repulsive force, and yet there's a tractive force as well. There's obviously that perfect medium field so in there. So it finds that orbit of the delivery. Oh yeah, you can really feel it. Okay. That. That's more with this concept. Yep. That's the way it's always been. So we have to go so why don't you just go ahead and put the rollers and the SCG on such a stabilizer to simulate that. Uh, this one's just pushing away. This one's just pushing away. This one's this one's pushing and pulling at the same time. No, this one's got magnets. This one's just copper. But eddy current, copper pushes away. You know? Where magnets attract and the eddy currents push away at the same time. Try that, that's pretty interesting. I've always seen the demo but never got to feel it. Ta da! <laughs> that's fascinating. Very fast. Always, always saw this stuff and you and everybody, and Jason online, and never really got to talk to you. Well, it's this about is, time. This is awesome. I've seen this demo so many times it hurts, and I want to touch it. I got to touch it. Yep. It's all real, isn't it? Glad you're here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Glad to see you. Thank you. I hope to see more of this sometime. Why?